If the Frederick Douglass School did not or had not existed, there would be such a tremendous loss. It's almost impossible to think of this community existing without a Frederick Douglass. There's a lot of history here. Everybody wanted to come to Frederick Douglass. Uh, the teachers uh, were the ones that pushed the student. The teachers gave us everything they had to make sure that we would grow and prosper. I was able to start a band program here and they developed a reputation of being one of the best bands in the area. They showed us a future in life. Be proud of Elm City. We find that legacy is very important to the community. Don't give me a reason why we can't do it, because we can do it. We can do so much with these children over here, and that's what Elm City has been all about. That's what this school here was built upon, more standards. This community is deserving of a nice school. It's something about not being right here and within walking distance of our families. That we got to push for higher ground. But Coach Reed was the third winningest coach in the United States. Everything that we do, we'll do in a ball game. We built the gym back in 61. And they started winning. We had a state championship. We didn't want to lose. Tradition started right then. We came into a gym, we came to play, and we came to win. Be proud of Elm City. I said, where are you from? Elm City, I can't hear you, say it again. It put the city of Elm City on the map. Don't ever forget where you came from. To the point where if you mention Elm City, people knew who you were. <laughs>